Hello friend, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 metric. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 058 underscore DIABM where you save it. Go to the quick access toolbar and click the save as button. This will bring the save drawing as dialog box. Rename this file to 00 underscore 059 underscore DIABM. If you plan to open this file in earlier version of AutoCAD, go to the file of site, click this down arrow. I'm going to select AutoCAD 2007. Click the save button. In today's tutorial, we're going to model our windows. So, we're going to model only three windows one double, one single, and the toilet window. Then we copy the windows and we are necessary and we align we are necessary. Now, go to the Home tab, Layer Panel, and select the Isolate command. Select this wall and press Enter. AutoCAD isolates this wall. Now, go to the Home tab, Layer Panel, click this down arrow, and turn the cabbage layer on. Click into the Drawing area. Right-click the UCS and select the Face option. At the Select Face of Solid, Surface, or Mesh, hover the mouse cursor into this area and click. Press Enter to accept. Right click the UCS and select the name option. Now when you select this option, you see only save because we don't have any custom name UCS. Now click the save button. Turn on your cap lock and type RWA, that's right windows alignment and press enter. This way the next time we want to draw any, we want this UCS, we just go to the UCS and select it. Go to the home tab. Layer panel and click the down arrow. Make the cabbage layer the current layer. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the rectangle corner. I specify first point point, snap to this point and move the mouse cursor. Hold down the shift key and the middle mouse button to get a better orientation. Snap to this point. Right click the UCS and select the face option. At the select face of solid, surface or mesh point, hold down the shift key and the middle mouse button. Hover the mouse cursor into this face and click. Press enter, hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to get a better orientation. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the rectangle command. At the specifying first corner point point, click on this corner, move the mouse cursor and snap to this corner. Now right click the UCS, select UCS name, click the save button, type FWA, press enter. Right click the UCS and select the face option. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. I've got the mouse cursor into this area. Press enter to accept. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the rectangle command. At the specify first corner point point, click on this corner. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. At specifying other corner point point, click on this corner. Right click the UCS, name UCS, save UCS. Type TWA, press enter. Right click the UCS, select the face option, hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button, select this face, press enter to accept. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the rectangle command. I specify first point prompt, click on this endpoint, move the mouse cursor and snap to this endpoint. Right click the UCS and select the name option, click the save button, type KWA, press enter. Right click the UCS and select world. Now go to the home tab, draw panel and select the line command. I specify first point from click on this area, move the mouse cursor into this direction and type 100 millimeter, press enter, press enter to get out of the command. Press enter to the deadline command, select this endpoint, hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button, move the mouse into this direction type 100 millimeter press enter press enter to end the command hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit zoom in into this area go to the visual style control click the realistic and select 2d wireframe use a window selection to select this line go to the home tab modify panel and select the copy command as specified base point prompt snap from this base point and copy to this base point this base point press escape Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. Zoom in into this area. Go to the go to the visual style control. Click the 2D wireframe and select realistic. 
go to the home tab draw panel and select the line command as specifying first point prompt click on this area move the mouse cursor to the back and type 100 millimeter press enter press enter to end the command zoom in into this area hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to see the line that you just draw press enter to repeat the line command as specifying first point prompt click on this area zoom out move the mouse cursor into this direction and type 100 millimeter note the movement of the mouse cursor doesn't matter when you type the input autocad use the input than the free distance entry now i move my line all the way across the building but when i type 100 millimeter and press enter autocad dry draw the line at 100 millimeter length hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit press enter to repeat the line command as specifying first point prompt click on this area move the mouse cursor into this area and type 100 millimeter sometimes the reason why i move my line away from the building to avoid an, an unexpected object snap if your line snap in non orthogonal angle or in an unexpected object snap when you enter the input the line takes on the distance of the input but the snap may affect the angle so to avoid that that confusion you may go to the status bar and turn off the object snap button or you move the cursor away to a position where you know that no object snap can disturb you type 100 millimeter and press enter press enter to end the line command zoom in into this area hold the mouse cursor hold the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit press enter to repeat the line command specifying first point one click on this area now move as you can see when i move between the object you see that some objects now try to snap on the movement of the cursor now move the cursor away and type 100 millimeter press enter press enter to end the command hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit go to the visual style control click realistic and select 2d wireframe zooming into this area use a window selection to select this rectangle and its line right click select similar autocad select all of the the similar objects in the drawing now right click isolate isolate object autocad isolate this object now select this polyline this polyline right click isolate hide objects so now we're going to draw these are the basic windows that we need this is a double window single window toilet window this is a single window but the height is different from this one because this is the kitchen window so now sometimes when you have a complex profile you want to use some certain command like the sweep command or the solid the command may not work well to avoid that problem in the future we're going to greet a profile just in case that happened so we'll use the other profile now go to the property panel and click the down arrow set the color to blue instead of by layer that way the new profile that we're going to add will ticks on the blue color while the original one will have the red color right click the ucs name the ucs and select rwa option go to the home tab draw panel and select the polyline command as specify first point from click on this this corner this corner this corner press enter right click the ucs name ucs and select fwa Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the polyline command. As specifying first point prompt, start from this corner, this corner, this corner, this corner. Press enter to end the command. Press enter to repeat the command. We can use this UCS and this UCS because this UCS, they are lies in the same plan with a different elevations. As specify start point prompt, click on this corner this corner this corner this corner press enter press enter again to start the polyline command at specify start point prompt click on this corner this corner this corner and this corner press escape now we are ready to model our profile right click the ucs and select the world option now right click the ucs and select the rw option go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command as specify offset distance point type 62.5 
press enter select this polyline and offset it inside go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command type 50 millimeter press enter select the external rectangle and offset it inside press escape to get out of the command right click the ucs and select world go to the home tab draw panel and select the polyline command at specify base point from click at this endpoint move the mouse cursor into this direction and type 100 millimeter press enter move into this direction and type 62.5 press enter move in this direction type 100 millimeter press enter type c on your keyboard to close the figure select this profile change its color to green press escape to get out of the command now select the profile right click isolate isolate objects zoom in into this area go to the home tab property panel click the down arrow and select change the color to green go to the home tab draw panel and select the polyline command as specify first point come click on this area and move the mouse cursor into this direction press enter now go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command and specify offset distance point type 25 millimeter press enter select this line and offset it inside press enter to end the command press enter to repeat the offset command again type 12.5 press enter select this line and offset it inside press escape now select this line and hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command press enter trim this line trim this line press escape now go to the home tab draw panel and select the line command start the line at the midpoint of this line and the midpoint of this line press escape go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command and specify this transport type 37 37 point five press enter select this line and offset it out select this line and offset it in this direction press escape to get out of the command go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command press enter trim this line this line trim this line press escape to get out of the command now go to the home tab modify panel and select the line command I specify first object point hold on the shift key and right click Select mid between two points. I specify first mid point. Click. I specify second point of mid. Click. Move the mouse cursor and use the perpendicular object snap to snap into this direction. Press enter. Now go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command. I specify offset distance from type six millimeter. Press enter. Select this line. Offset it. Select this line. Offset in this direction. Press escape to get out of the command. Now select this line and hit the letter on the keyboard. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the trim command. Press enter. Trim off this line, this line, this line, this line. Trim off this line, trim off this line, this line, trim off this line. Press escape. Select this line and hit the letter on your keyboard. Select this line, hit the letter on your keyboard. Now right click the UCS and select the origin. As the specify new origin prompt, click at the endpoint of this line. Now select this tree object. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the mirror command. As specify first point of mirror line prompt, click on this endpoint. Move the mouse cursor and click on the opposite direction. Press enter. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the trim command. Press enter. Trim this object. Press enter. Go to the home tab, property panel, click the down arrow and select by layer. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the rect polyline command. I specify first point prompt, start from this point, 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 this point. Press enter to end the command. Now select this point, go to the home tab, modify panel and select the new command. I specify first object prompt, select this point, this line and move to this direction press enter now select this select this line this polyline hold down the control shift and type c on your keyboard as specify in this point point click on this area with the polyline still selected hit delete on your keyboard select this line and hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command press enter trim off this line 
press escape now go to the home tab modify panel click the down arrow and select the polyline command select this polyline select the joint option use a window selection to select all of this object press enter select joint again now because you have already joined the object autocad cannot allow you escape now hold down the control key and type v on your keyboard move the mouse cursor and snap into this area now go to the home tab drop panel and select the line command as specifying first object from click at this main point of this line and the midpoint of this line press escape go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command as specify offset this time from type 3 inches on your keyboard and press enter select this line offset to the to the top select and offset to this part press escape to get out of the command Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select polyline command. At specifying first point from start the line from this point, go to the citrus bar and turn on the audio mode. I will have the mouse cursor into this area and type 6 mm, press enter. Move the mouse cursor and use the perpendicular object snap, click. Move the mouse cursor and click on this direction. Press escape to get out of command. Now select this line, this line, and hit delete on your keyboard. Select this line, go to the home tab modify panel and select the mirror command as specify first point of mirror line prompt click the end point of this line move the mouse cursor to the right and click press enter to end the command now go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command as specifying objects at the select object prompt press enter trim of this line and this line press escape to get out of the command now go to the home tab modify panel click the down and select edit polyline command select this polyline select the joint option and this line press enter select this polyline this polyline this line press enter press escape to get out of the command press enter and select this polyline select the joint option select this line and this polyline press enter press escape to get out of the command now we're going to draw another profile to i'm going to draw another profile outside this area to draw this profile now go to the home tab modify panel and select the line command i specify first point prompt use the end point of this line as the first point click move the mouse cursor into this direction and type 25 press enter press enter to end the command press enter to repeat the line command i specify first point from click on this area move the mouse cursor into this direction and type 6 mm press enter press enter to run the command go to the home tab draw panel and select the rectangle command i specify first point prompt click on this area and click on this area now select this area use a window selection and select this area hold down the shift key and select the rectangle to be selected hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel click the down arrow and select the chamfer command Type D on your keyboard and press enter. As specify first chamfer distance prompt. Type 12 on your keyboard. Press enter. As specify second chamfer distance prompt. Type 4 mm on your keyboard. Press enter. Select this line and this line. Auto got chamfer this polyline. Now that our profile is complete, we're going to rotate this profile in case we have any problem. That way it will be easy for us to do exactly what you want to do. To do that, right click the UCS and select the name UCS, RW UCS. Now select this UCS, go to the home tab, modify panel and select the rotate command. I specify base point from zooming into this area and click. I specify rotation angle prompt, type C on your keyboard and press enter for the copy option. I specify rotation angle prompt, type 90 degree and press enter. As you can see, the object is being rotated to the opposite side. But we rotate less than we're supposed to do. We rotate only one of the profile and we don't rotate this other two profile. To do that, select this profile again and this profile. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the rotate command. I specify in this point prompt. Move the mouse cursor and snap to this base point. Type C on your keyboard and press enter. Type 90 and press enter. Alright, so now the profile is being completed. We're going to stop this tutorial at this point. In the next tutorial, we'll continue to model our window. If you find this tutorial useful, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question or you want a specific tutorial, please leave a comment below. 
if you want to continue on this exercise or any other exercise on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye